Pope Francis is profoundly moved by the third secret of Fatima and the groundbreaking new revelations that have come to light as he prepares for his visit to Fatima, Portugal, to mark the centennial of the enigmatic apparition witnessed by three village children. The world watches with bated breath as these children believe that the apparition is none other than the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. For decades, the elusive third secret of Fatima has captivated the minds and hearts of millions around the world. Now, in a momentous revelation, Pope Francis is poised to unveil the long-anticipated truth behind this intricate prophecy. What exactly does the Pope have to reveal? What profound insights are hidden within the third secret of Fatima that prompted the Church to keep it concealed for so many years? Most importantly, do the revelations within the third secret offer guidance or warnings for the future of humanity? The third secret of Fatima stands as one of the most intriguing prophecies associated with the Catholic Church. For decades, speculation about its contents has ignited curiosity and debate among believers and skeptics alike. But what mysteries are woven into its words? The three secrets of Fatima comprise an extraordinary series of visions and prophecies shared by three young Portuguese shepherds, Lucia Santos and her cousins Jacinta and Francisco Mardo. These children claim to have encountered the Virgin Mary on six separate occasions between May and October of 1917, an event now known as the Apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima. Initially, the revelations were intended to assist in the publication of a book by Jacinta, one of the young shepherds. As Pope Francis prepares to shed light on the contents of the third secret, the world watches in eager anticipation. The profound new revelations have stirred a mixture of emotions within the Pope as he contemplates the significance of this intricate prophecy. What truths lie within the third secret of Fatima? What guidance or warnings does it hold for the future of humanity? These questions loom large as the Pope steps forward to reveal long-hidden secrets. The journey of the three young shepherds, Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco, began with a series of extraordinary visions. The Virgin Mary appeared to them with messages of faith, hope, and repentance. Over the years, the details of these apparitions have been studied and revered by millions. However, the contents of the third secret remained shrouded in mystery, sparking endless speculation and debate. As the centennial of the Fatima apparitions approaches, the Pope's decision to disclose the third secret marks a significant moment in the history of the Catholic Church. The world watches, eager to learn what the Pope will reveal and how it will impact the future. The third secret of Fatima, with its profound implications and hidden truths, continues to be one of the most fascinating and debated prophecies of our time. This is where the story becomes truly enigmatic. The third secret of Fatima, cloaked in mystery, took many years to emerge in the public eye. Sister Lucia dos Santos, one of the three young visionaries, found herself hesitant and uncertain about whether she had received a definitive directive from God regarding the disclosure of the secret. It was not until October 1943, under the insistence of her bishop, that Lucia finally wrote down the secret, sealing it in an envelope with strict instructions that it should not be opened until 1960. She believed that by then, its meaning would be more comprehensible. However, it wasn't until the year 2000 that Pope John Paul Roman II decided to reveal the contents of the secret to the world. Despite some lingering reservations about whether a full disclosure was made, the Vatican maintained the authenticity of the revelation. So, what do these secrets actually predict? According to Catholic interpretation, they address profound and significant issues such as the reality of hell, the calamitous events of World War I, and the severe persecutions faced by Christians throughout the 20th century. When we explore the broader context of Marian apparitions, it is noteworthy that out of the hundreds investigated by the Catholic Church, only a small fraction have received official approval. Remarkably, nine out of the 12 approved apparitions took place between 1830 and 1933. The limited number of recognized events prompts us to reflect deeply on their significance. Cultural anthropologists Victor and Edith Turner, who converted to Catholicism in 1958, viewed the rise of Marian apparition cults as a reaction from the lower middle class and marginalized groups to the rapid and unsettling transformations of post-war culture. 
let's delve deeper into the life of Lucia dos Santos, one of the central figures in the Fatima revelations. Her life journey adds another layer of intrigue to the story. At the tender age of 14, Lucia was sent to the school of the Sisters of St. Dorothy in Villar, near Porto. Later, she dedicated her life to religious service by becoming a nun in a convent in Thai, just across the Spanish border. Lucia's path from a young shepherd girl to a revered nun is fascinating. Her early life in the small village of Algestral, where the apparitions took place, was marked by simplicity and deep faith. The apparitions of 1917 profoundly impacted her, shaping her future and the messages she would carry forward. The visions of the Virgin Mary not only directed her spiritual journey, but also influenced millions worldwide contributing to the establishment of the Fatima Shrine as a major pilgrimage site. The mystery surrounding the third secret of Fatima and its eventual disclosure continues to spark interest and debate. Many speculate about the full extent of its contents and the implications for the future. The narrative of the Fatima apparitions and Lucia's life provides a rich tapestry of faith, mystery, and historical significance that continues to captivate people across the globe. As we reflect on the profound revelations and the life of Lucia dos Santos, it becomes clear that the Fatima story is not just about a series of visions. It encompasses a broader context of faith, societal change, and the enduring power of belief. The secrets of Fatima, particularly the enigmatic third secret, remain a subject of fascination, symbolizing the intersection of divine mystery and human experience. Throughout her life, Sister Lucia dos Santos continued to experience occasional private visions. In the 1930s, the Bishop of Laria urged Lucia, who had taken the religious name Sister Maria Lucia of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart, to document her experiences. This initiative aimed to uncover more details about her cousins, Jacinta and Francisco Mardo, and the apparitions they witnessed in 1917. Interestingly, the concept of the secret confided to the children during the apparitions first emerged in July 1917. Lucia mentioned that this secret carried both positive and negative consequences for different people. However, it wasn't until her third memoir, written in 1941, that Lucia finally disclosed the truth about the secret. This disclosure followed a pattern similar to that of the French visionary Melanie Calvat, who revealed the secrets of the apparition of Our Lady of La Salette almost two decades later. Lucia revealed that the secrets comprised three parts. The first two were revealed in 1941, and the third part was written down on January 3, 1944. In the mid-1940s, while living with her fellow sisters in Thai, Spain, Sister Lucia fell gravely ill, fearing that she might die before revealing the remainder of the secret. The Bishop of Laria urgently pressed her to write it down. In obedience and despite her illness, Sister Lucia painstakingly transcribed the third secret on a single page, sealing its contents in an envelope. In his theological commentary, The Message of Fatima, Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, later Pope Benedict Roman XVI, acknowledged the speculations and controversies that had surrounded the third secret for many years. He noted that the content of the carefully guarded envelope might not meet everyone's expectations. The concept of a secret confided to the children during the apparitions first emerged during the apparition on July 13, 1917. Lucia had indicated that the secret would have both positive and negative impacts on various people, but it remained shrouded in mystery for many years. It wasn't until she wrote her third memoir in 1941 that she disclosed the nature of the secrets. Aligning her revelations with the pattern established by other visionaries like Melanie Calvat. Lucia's third memoir revealed that the secrets consisted of three distinct parts. The first two parts, which were made public in 1941, included a vision of hell and predictions concerning World War II and the immense suffering it would cause. The third part, written down on January 3, 1944, was kept under strict confidentiality until it was finally revealed in 2000 by Pope John Paul Roman II. During the mid-1940s, while residing in Thai, Spain, Sister Lucia became gravely ill, concerned that she might pass away before documenting the final part of the secret. The Bishop of Laria urged her to write it down immediately. 
Despite her severe illness, Sister Lucia managed to transcribe the third secret on a single page, ensuring its preservation by sealing it in an envelope with specific instructions for its future handling. In his theological commentary, the message of Fatima, Cardinal Ratzinger addressed the numerous speculations and controversies that had surrounded the third secret for decades. He acknowledged that the content of the secret, once revealed, might not align with the dramatic expectations that had built up over the years. Nonetheless, the disclosure of the third secret marked a significant moment in the history of the Fatima apparitions, providing clarity and a deeper understanding of the messages conveyed by the Virgin Mary to the three young visionaries in 1917. He explained that a thorough examination of the third secret might not unravel significant mysteries or predict future events. Instead, it presents the Church of the Martyrs of the past century through symbolic language that is challenging to interpret. This invites us to contemplate the profound intentions behind a communication from the Mother of our Lord to Christianity and humanity during a time of immense turmoil. But do these teachings apply to the issues we face today, or are they simply ideas shaped by the minds of children raised in a deeply religious environment, influenced by the people of their time, in what sense is this vision significant, and how should we interpret it now? Let's focus on what transpired and what the three young shepherds witnessed in Fatima, Portugal, in 1917. Here is where the story takes a truly astonishing turn. In obedience to God's command, conveyed through the Bishop of Laria and the Virgin Mary, Lucia recounted the vision she and her cousins had. She described an angel with a sword of fire in its left hand, emitting flames that seemed ready to engulf the world. However, these flames were extinguished by the radiant splendor emanating from the Virgin's right hand. The angel, pointing to the earth with its right hand, cried out three times, Penance! 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 This was a call to penance and spiritual awakening. Lucia then described a scene where bishops, priests, monks, and nuns ascended a steep mountain culminating in a large cross made of rough logs that resembled tree trunks. But before reaching the sacred summit, the vision took a distressing turn. The ascent was not merely a physical journey, but a spiritual one, symbolizing the hardships and sacrifices faced by the clergy and faithful. The vision conveyed profound theological and moral implications, urging a return to spiritual integrity and a deep commitment to faith. The image of the angel with a fiery sword, the call to penance, and the ascent to the cross represent a multi-layered message. It highlights the urgent need for repentance, the reality of divine intervention, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil through faith and perseverance. These symbols resonate with the trials of the 20th century, including wars, persecution, and the struggle for religious freedom. They also offer timeless lessons applicable to today's challenges urging humanity to seek spiritual renewal and moral courage in the face of adversity. The revelations of Fatima compel us to reflect on their relevance to contemporary issues. The symbolic language used in the vision speaks to universal themes of suffering, redemption, and the power of faith. The vision's portrayal of religious figures ascending towards a cross amidst hardship and danger underscores the enduring mission of the church to lead humanity towards salvation despite obstacles and opposition. This imagery is as relevant now as it was then, reminding us of the enduring call to live out our faith authentically and courageously. In examining the broader context of Marian apparitions and their significance, we must consider the unique circumstances and messages of each event. Fatima stands out not only for its vivid and dramatic visions, but also for the profound spiritual and moral teachings it imparts. The messages of Fatima challenge us to look beyond the immediate invisible, urging a deeper understanding of our spiritual journey and our role in the larger narrative of salvation history. The story of the three young shepherds Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco serves as a powerful testament to the impact of divine revelation on ordinary lives. Their experiences and the subsequent unfolding of the Fatima revelations illustrate the transformative power of faith and the enduring importance of heeding spiritual messages. As we delve into the details of what they witnessed, we gain insights not only into the historical and religious context of the apparitions, but also into the timeless truths they reveal. 
In summary, the third secret of Fatima and the visions witnessed by the young shepherds are not just relics of a bygone era. They offer a profound and compelling message that continues to speak to us today. Through symbolic language and vivid imagery, the visions call us to penance, spiritual awakening, and steadfast faith amidst the trials of life. They remind us of the enduring mission of the Church and the transformative power of divine revelation, urging us to seek deeper spiritual understanding and commitment in our own lives. The vision of the Holy Father, representing the Pope, journeying through a ruined city marked by destruction and trembling with fear is profoundly symbolic. His path was characterized by pain and mourning as he prayed for the souls of the deceased scattered along his way. Upon reaching the top of a mountain, he kneeled before a large cross. However, his solemn moment was abruptly interrupted by a group of soldiers who mercilessly attacked him, unleashing a barrage of bullets and arrows. Tragically, the Pope was martyred, symbolizing a profound sacrifice for his faith. The tragedy did not end with the Pope's martyrdom. In a series of horrifying acts of violence, bishops, priests, monks, nuns, and people from various social backgrounds suffered similar fates, becoming victims of the same brutal attack. Under the arms of the cross, two angels, each with a crystal aspergillum, a vessel used for sprinkling holy water, collected the blood of the martyrs and sprinkled it upon the souls ascending to God. This act signified purification and sanctification through sacrifice. This vision, though unsettling in its imagery, carries deep spiritual significance. It serves as a call to penance and conversion, urging humanity to turn away from sin and embrace a path of righteousness. The sword of fire symbolizes divine justice, while the radiant splendor of the Virgin represents divine mercy, offering hope amid imminent catastrophe. The call for penance underscores the urgency of spiritual renewal and conversion. The description of the Pope's martyrdom highlights the theme of sacrifice for the common good, a timeless message resonating within Christian tradition. The vision's depiction of widespread suffering and persecution speaks to the enduring struggle between good and evil, light and darkness, challenging believers to remain steadfast in their faith, even in the face of adversity. The imagery of the Holy Father traversing a devastated city filled with the remnants of destruction and the dead emphasizes the gravity of the world's moral and spiritual crises. His prayerful journey amidst the ruins reflects the Church's mission to intercede for a broken and suffering humanity. The Pope's ascent to the mountain and subsequent martyrdom at the cross symbolize the ultimate act of faith and devotion, mirroring Christ's own journey to Calvary. The violent assault by the soldiers represents the relentless forces of evil that seek to destroy the Church and its leaders. The Pope's martyrdom, therefore, is not just an act of violence, but a profound testament to the power of faith and the willingness to sacrifice for the truth. This martyrdom serves as a stark reminder of the cost of discipleship and the enduring call to witness to the faith, even unto death. The scene of the angels with a crystal aspergillum collecting the blood of the martyrs and sprinkling it upon the souls ascending to God is rich with theological meaning. It signifies that the sacrifices of the martyrs are not in vain. Rather, they contribute to the sanctification and purification of the faithful. This act of sprinkling holy water symbolizes the cleansing power of sacrificial love and the hope of eternal life. The vision's call to penance is a powerful exhortation for spiritual renewal. It underscores the urgent need for humanity to repent and turn back to God. The imagery of the sword of fire conveys the reality of divine justice, reminding us that sin has serious consequences. Conversely, the radiant splendor of the Virgin symbolizes divine mercy, offering a beacon of hope and forgiveness to those who seek it. The theme of widespread suffering and persecution in the vision highlights the ongoing battle between good and evil. It speaks to the resilience of the Christian faith and the courage required to stand firm in the face of oppression. This struggle is a fundamental aspect of the human experience and a core tenet of Christian theology, reflecting the reality that following Christ often involves enduring hardship and opposition. In essence, this vision is a profound narrative of faith, sacrifice, and redemption. It calls believers to a deeper commitment to their spiritual journey, urging them to embrace penance, seek purification, and stand firm in their faith. 
The imagery of the Pope's martyrdom and the collective suffering of the faithful serve as a poignant reminder of the Church's mission to witness to the truth of the Gospel, even in the face of great trials. This powerful vision ultimately points to the transformative power of faith and the hope of redemption. It challenges believers to live out their faith with courage and conviction, trusting in the promise of divine mercy and the assurance of God's justice. Through its vivid and symbolic imagery, the vision of the Holy Father and the martyrs of Fatima continues to inspire and call the faithful to a deeper and more authentic relationship with God. Yet amidst this darkness, the angels gathering the martyr's blood offer a glimmer of hope and redemption. Their action symbolizes the sanctifying power of suffering and the triumph of faith over adversity. It urges us to heed the call to penance, embrace the cross, and persevere in faith even in the face of persecution. One can only imagine the profound impact these prophetic secrets must have had on the three young visionaries of Fatima. The words and visions received from God and the Blessed Mother were not confined to that moment but hold relevance for all of us today. Nearly four decades later, Sister Lucia shared her interpretation of the third secret in a letter to Pope John Paul Roman II, revealing it to be symbolic. She explained that if the world had not followed the requests outlined in the secret, the errors of Russia would have spread, leading to wars, persecutions against the Church, and suffering for the Holy Father. However, if these requests had been heeded, Russia would have converted and peace would have prevailed. Finally, after years of anticipation, the full truth about the third secret of Fatima has been revealed. The Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith emphasized that Pope John Paul Yai's decision to make the secret public marked the end of a turbulent era characterized by human greed and the evil thirst for power. Yet it also marked a time rich in God's merciful love and the caring vigilance of the Mother of Jesus in the Church. The narrative of Fatima highlights two key elements shaping human history, God's action as Lord of history and humanity's co-responsibility in shaping its own destiny through creative freedom. The angel's act of gathering the martyr's blood beneath the cross is rich with theological significance. It represents the idea that suffering, when united with Christ's sacrifice, becomes redemptive. This powerful imagery reminds us that even in the darkest times, there is hope and the possibility of redemption. The martyr's blood, collected and sanctified, signifies the ultimate triumph of faith and the purification of souls through sacrifice. This vision calls believers to embrace penance, take up their crosses, and continue steadfast in their faith, regardless of the persecution they might face. The profound impact of these prophetic secrets on the young visionaries Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco must have been immense. They received messages that transcended their immediate context, speaking to the broader struggles and hopes of humanity. The visions and words from the Blessed Mother were not just for that time. They were meant to resonate through the ages, offering guidance and hope to future generations. In her later years, Sister Lucia provided deeper insights into the third secret, in her letter to Pope John Paul Roman II, she explained that the secret was symbolic. If the world had ignored the requests from the Blessed Mother, the errors of Russia symbolizing atheism and the spread of communism would have led to global conflict, church persecutions, and immense suffering for the Pope. Conversely, if the world had embraced these requests, Russia would have undergone conversion, securing a period of peace. The revelation of the complete third secret was a momentous event. Pope John Paul Yai's decision to make it public marked the end of a turbulent period in history, characterized by the horrors of war, the rise of totalitarian regimes, and widespread human suffering. However, this revelation also underscored the enduring presence of God's merciful love and the protective care of the Virgin Mary. It was a reminder that, despite human failings and the persistent presence of evil, divine grace and mercy are ever-present. The story of Fatima underscores a profound theological truth. While God is the sovereign Lord of history, humanity plays a crucial role in shaping its destiny. This interplay between divine providence and human freedom is central to the Christian understanding of history. The messages of Fatima call for human cooperation with divine grace, urging people to respond to God's call through prayer, penance, and conversion. 
The angel's actions and the vision's call for penance are particularly relevant in today's world. They remind us of the need for spiritual renewal and moral integrity. In a time of severe moral and social challenges, the message of Fatima offers a path to hope and redemption. It calls for a collective return to faith and a renewed commitment to living out the values of the gospel. In conclusion, the third secret of Fatima and the broader narrative of the apparitions are rich with spiritual significance and theological depth. They call believers to a deeper understanding of the interplay between divine action and human responsibility, the vision of the angels gathering the martyr's blood, the call to penance, and the promise of divine mercy all speak to the enduring power of faith and the transformative potential of suffering united with Christ. The messages of Fatima continue to inspire and challenge us to live out our faith with courage and conviction, trusting in God's providence and mercy. Our Lady, who graced Fatima with her apparitions, draws our attention to these often forgotten values, reminding us that the future of humanity lies in God's hands. She emphasizes that we are not mere passive observers, but active and responsible partners in building our common future. The third secret, kept hidden until 1960, marked a crucial moment in the history of the Church. Despite facing resistance to reveal the secret, Sister Lucia ensured its placement in the Holy Office's secret archives. The controversy surrounding its public revelation in 2000 cast doubt on its authenticity and sparked numerous conspiracy theories. However, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith confirmed the authenticity of the revealed text and Sister Lucia affirmed the disclosure of everything, dispelling notions of hidden revelations. Sister Lucia ensured the timely dissemination of Mary's words and messages to the world before her death in 2005. The consecration of the world, including Russia, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary fulfilled the desires of the Blessed Mother, resolving much of the controversy surrounding the Third Secret and bringing clarity and significance to the historical revelations of Fatima. This act underscored the importance of heeding the messages from Fatima and reinforced the call for penance, prayer, and conversion. Our Lady of Fatima's apparitions serve as a poignant reminder of our active role in shaping the future through our actions and faith. Her messages are not just historical footnotes, but timeless calls to live a life of deeper spiritual commitment and moral integrity. The revelations of Fatima continue to inspire and guide us, emphasizing that through prayer, penance, and devotion, we can partake in God's divine plan for humanity. As we reflect on these powerful messages, let us recognize our role in this divine narrative and strive to live out the values imparted by Our Lady of Fatima. Her call to conversion, peace, and faithfulness remains as relevant today as it was a century ago, urging us to turn our hearts toward God and seek His guidance in our lives. Thank you for watching this video on the profound revelations of Fatima. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Faith in God channel. Your support helps us continue to bring you insightful and inspiring content. May the messages of Fatima guide and bless you on your spiritual journey.